For those who don't have much time to waste, let's unwrap the top three best things about the Korg Vocal Key synth. So without any further ado, let's get into the list. Number three, the sequencer. Whilst I didn't initially think I'd like the sequencer due to its 16 step limitation and lack of dedicated controls, I really enjoyed what Korg laid out. You can use the motion sequence to add pitch, filter, delay, and all kinds of movement to your sequence to really bring it to life. Number two, the sound. Yeah, I know, a sawtooth and square wave and only three analog voices seems bland on paper, but the resonant low pass filter on the vocal keys can scream when played right. The oscillators are thicker than you might suspect from a battery powered synth of this size. Number one, the delay effect. Oh yeah, this delay is a dirty one, and that's how I like it. To me, it's what really brings the whole package together, having the ability to sync it to the tempo of your sequence or just have it run free. The delay on the vocal keys easily takes the top spot, so don't leave home without it. Which you obviously can't, because it's literally not possible to. Well, that wraps it up. For the full review on the Korg Vocal Keys, check out the full length episode and look out for more episodes of Synth Quickies like this. Remember to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one.